Zambezi is a unique district with two distinct tribes, the Lunda and the Luwale, who are separated by a distinct natural phenomenon, the Zambezi River. Though the area boasts of other tribes, it is these two that are more dominant. Poshalala explores this topic in our feature story. There are very few places in Zambia with such a spectacular view of the Zambezi River. Zambezi town in the northwestern province is a possible tourist destination due to its location. The river passes through the district and divides it into two. This division is also seen in terms of language and culture. Also evident is that the chiefs for the Lundas are on the east bank, while those for the Luvale are on the west bank. However, the river does not stop these people from mingling because the Lunda or Luvare are found mixing freely on either side. The west bank of the town is predominantly Luvare speaking while the east is Lunda. As for the language, either Lunda or Luvare is used. But this has sometimes brought about problems because neither of the Lunda or the Luvare want to concede dominance. There was also a time when there was a stalemate on the language to use in schools. At the moment, the Catholic Church is caught up in this dilemma. For example, this parish holds separate services for Lundas and Luvales. Father Noel Haninga oversees Zambezi district and he explains the challenges he goes through. Now, I superintend over 31 churches and uh, there are certain areas where uh, certain songs from this other side of the tribe are not allowed to be sung and vice versa. And then um, yeah, even the people themselves in the churches, especially where I'm based here yeah, at the, the Boma Church, um, you know, you, you are able to see tensions even on small, small issues, issues like uh, just choosing, the, the choosing of church leaders. The choosing of church leaders, uh, people would want to have their own to lead the church. And now, not forced to, ha to use two languages uh, where we have uh, you know, divided Sundays. If this Sunday we use Lunda, the next Sunday we use Lubale. You no, know, alternating like that, uh, just to accommodate the two tribes. Because if you try to stick to one, the other tribe feels left out and you destroy the church. But even when we do that, the, 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 the response from my own assessment, I think, is not very positive because there are certain times when, for instance, if you have a Lubale mass, the Lundas are not very active, they are not active, and uh, some of them even miss. And when you have Lunda mass, the Lubales again are not very active, and some of them even miss. So at the end of the day, you are left to wonder uh, what you know would be the best solution to this problem. There's still an impasse on the language in schools, despite the school curriculum encouraging each district to adopt one language for pupils from grade 1 to 4. However, in Zambezi, pupils in the West Bank are taught in Lubare, while in the East Bank are taught in Lunda. In the town area, where there's a high concentration of both tribes, English is a language of instruction in primary schools. I was the first district commissioner under PF. I, we had found uh, that uh, the schools in Zambezi were being taught uh, three languages. That is, uh, on the East Bank, it is uh, Runda and English. And on the West Bank, it is uh, Ruvare and uh, English. And that is the same process we are following even up to today because we follow what government has set up as zonal language 
we don't go out of, outside the policy of government and that is the way the system is running in Zambezi. Roger Sakuuka is a former member of parliament for Zambezi and he understands the challenges in this town. He says there's need for the two tribes to coexist. There was a district commissioner, the Whites. Uh, I think it was Mr. Lawrence. Lawrence. Now, that man used to play what we refer to as the violent role. Whenever senior chief Shinde came to his office or to his house, he would put in a picture for senior chief Ishin. And if senior chief, senior chief Ndungu came, he would do likewise. He puts in again a picture, removing that one of Shinde. That was the genesis of divide and rule. All I'm trying to appeal to you, colleagues, I think is let us try to avoid that essence of divide and rule. Let us try to avoid this situation. Paul Sharara, ZMBC News in Zambezi District, Northwestern Province. To us this morning, we remain in Kitwe, where the town hospital.